Greetings, people of the internet. Welcome to week two of the new AMK TV, where I talk to you about what it's like to be an independent filmmaker and a few of the things that I've learned along the way. Last week, we talked about procrastination and how we can tend to be our own barrier to success. This week, I'd like to talk to you about the arduous task of compressing your 90-minute masterpiece into a 30-second or less elevator pitch. So grab your pen and paper and get ready to take some notes, because here we go in three, two, one. This weekend, I will once again be a participating executive at the Great American Pitch Fest. I have been involved on both sides of the table, and I have to say that this one's my favorite. As a writer, you get to pick the companies that you want to pitch to, and the first day is full of educational panels that will help you immensely. As a producer, I will be sitting at my table all day listening to your pitches every five minutes. I've heard some good pitches and some bad pitches over the years. So let's get started so that you can come prepared with a great pitch. Tip number one, confirm interest. You want to make sure that I'm looking for what you're selling. Perhaps the person you're talking to only takes romantic comedies, but you're pitching a high budget action film. At a pitch fest, you should be able to do prior research to confirm that they're looking for your genre and budget. If you're in a situation where you don't know, start by asking. Excuse me, are you looking for young adult stories about vampires that sparkle? Why, yes. Yes, I am. Tip number two, start with the logline. When you tell me about your story, you are going to want to give me a detailed outline of everything that happens. Don't. You don't have the time, and I don't have the patience. The elevator pitch is your chance to share your one to two sentence logline of what your story is about. If you think that your story is too complex to do that, you're wrong. Find what is the most important aspect of your story and run with that. If you've hooked me, and your logline pitch should hook me, I will ask for more details, like how it ends. If you need help writing a logline, the Script Lab has a great short video that walks you through what to include. You can find the link down below. Tip number three, don't read your one sheet. A common mistake that I've seen at pitch fests is that writers don't have their logline memorized, so they default to reading their one sheet. This is bad because you're breaking eye contact and you're likely including way more detail than you should. The next worst thing to reading your one sheet is just reciting it verbatim from memory. You may be making eye contact with me, but your voice is monotone and unnatural. You've instantly lost me. Don't be concerned if you've forgotten a small detail or two. I wouldn't know because I haven't read your script yet. This leads me to tip number four. Have a conversation. Just talk to me. If we get along on a personal level, I'm much more likely to want to follow up with you and consider your script. Often, producers are looking for people they can work with as much as they are content to option. If I laugh and we have a good time talking, you're going to stick out in my mind at the end of the day when I'm going through the business cards I've collected. And finally, we come to tip number five, include likenings. After you've given me your logline and hooked me, wrap it all up and compare it to a couple of other projects that I'm likely familiar with. If your script is Terminator meets Gone with the Wind, that's going to evoke certain images in my mind and might push the right buttons. Alternatively, it might let me know that the script isn't right for me and we don't need to waste each other's time. Also, don't liken your script to films that have bombed in the box office. Those are my tips. With any luck, it'll help you develop an elevator pitch that you can reel off anywhere, from a networking event to a pitch fest or a coffee shop, or an actual elevator. Hello, Mr. Spielberg. Uh, what floor would you like? And are you interested in young adult stories about vampires? You are? If you're attending the Great American Pitch Fest this weekend, make sure to stop by my table and let me know if any of these tips helped you prepare. Also, I still need to hear from you. You can visit aaronkaiser.com slash askamktv to submit your feedback on what topics you think I should cover or ask any questions you'd like me to answer in a future episode. Make sure to subscribe and thanks for watching.